today we're gonna redo my coffee tea wine bar. It's getting really cluttered and it's just time to clean it up, freshen it up, and bring a little fall color into my home. We're almost there, so I figured I'd just start easing it in little by little. Hi, I'm Lisa Marie, and welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life. I love to do videos on interesting topics, DIY, crafts, quizzes, anything. We can live our best life doing whatever makes us happy. I hope you'll join me. To start out, I took some before footage so you could see what the area looked like before I decided to refresh and declutter. I've got lots of little tea boxes back there, so that middle shelf is just overpowered with stuff. The top shelf's not too bad, just an extra thing up there that I couldn't fit anywhere else. And then another little sign I made that really doesn't go with anything there, so I'm gonna probably get rid of that. And then I really wanna clean up that middle shelf. That seems to be the real trouble area. Because I've got the coffee, the tea, the wine, and then we got the coffee maker on the actual counter itself, and more tea, lots of tea, little candy jar. And then just, you know, it just doesn't feel 100% there, so we're gonna fix that. To start off, I removed a bunch of things so I could clean off the actual shelves and dust everything. Started off cleaning and decluttering, and then one thing led to another, and I started thinking of little DIY type craft things I could do to make things look nicer. So the first thing had to do with the tea. I really needed to consolidate all those different boxes of tea, and I found this old Liz Claiborne box that I had. It was like a gift with purchase kind of thing. And I thought, you know what, if I open this up and put some dividers in it, which I just use wood for that, I could make a tea box and get rid of all those boxes. So I started organizing the tea, and then I even cut off little pieces of the box so I could say which tea was behind each little sign. I even had a little section on the left there for tea bag holders and loose leaf holders that you use while steeping your tea. I decided to recover that box because that color just really wasn't going to fit in with what I had there. And I have a lot of fabric because I used to be a quilter, so I've got tons and tons of fabric. So I went through all of it and I found some kind of cool, warm, boho type fabric. My personal style kind of leans on the slightly modern, rustic, boho type look. I thought this fabric would really do the trick. I measured the sides and I went ahead and cut out my pieces that were going to go around the side. And then I decided I was going to use hot glue and create my seams by folding in the actual fabric and then creating nice little corners. And you'll see that here, how I folded it in. You see a little glue on there. I'm going to work on getting rid of that and just finishing up the rest of that before I add the top piece on. Also on the bottom, I did cover some of that as well. Then I measured the top and I cut out a piece from the other fabric and I went ahead and made seams for that by gluing down the edges and then I attached that to the top and then I am working on making those seams right there and I needed a way for the top to sit down so I found these magnets that I had in my stash. I actually ordered these a long time ago from Amazon for another project. They have adhesive on one side but I still used hot glue to make sure they would stay in place. I made sure that my fabric was long enough to hang over the front of the box and then I went ahead and attached those popsicle sticks to the very upper side of that so I had something to put the magnets on because that was just fabric hanging there and then I attached it to the front side of the box so that it would stick closed when I wasn't using it and it worked really well. And here you can see what it looks like all finished when it's closed and with the magnets holding it shut. I'm super happy that it turned out so nicely and it also just really helps to declutter and put all that tea in one place which is much more organized and minimalist which is how I really like things. The next thing that caught my eye was this old Longa Burger basket that I had with this extremely dated fabric lining it and more tea of course and I thought now I need to do something with that. That's the next project I moved on to. Everything I've done here is super simple and mostly with stuff I already had around the house, so very budget friendly. 
The only things I needed to redo this basket was a scarf from the Dollar Tree, and that was a dollar. And then I had a spool of the burlap ribbon, and I already had these things. So this worked out really nice, and it just adds a little more color, and it's super simple to do. I didn't film myself doing all these things because I was kind of on a roll, so I just kept going while I had the energy. And really all I did was cut a piece of the scarf so it was, it was thinner than the actual burlap ribbon. I put the burlap ribbon around and I glued it to the back. And then I also did the same thing with the scarf. I put the tea bags inside and then I added some of the greenery and a little bit of fall color flowers in there from Dollar Tree that I already had. And that's it. I mean, seriously, that could not have been easier. And I think it's super cute. It has that kind of rustic boho look and it just fits really nice with all of my things. I'm really happy with it. Now this container I had from Tivana and it's filled with loose tea. It's so cute, but it just doesn't really go with my stuff anymore. I've had it for a long time. And I had purchased these adhesive cork sheets from the Dollar Tree over in the Crafter Square area. And I thought one of these days I'm gonna come up with a great idea for them. And this was the first time I got to use it. So what I did is I just measured how high I wanted it to be. And it's adhesive, so it sticks right on very easily. And I cut a piece and then I went ahead and I just attached it and I made a seam in the back. I wanted to try some color blocking so I thought maybe I would put the cork on the bottom, a color in the middle, like well like black in the middle, and then make the lid a different color. So I went ahead and grabbed the lid and I painted it with my folk art metallic rose gold paint. And then I used my Waverly chalk paint in ink color to do that middle section and I put some Mod Podge over that to seal it. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still not 100% sure that I like the way the color blocking turned out. I'm kind of tempted to cover up the rose gold. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them down in the comments. I have this little teapot cozy for tea bags, and it's extremely old. I think I had it from the late 90s, and I used to have everything in wine and grapes, that kind of decor. Well, this was the last remaining piece, and I realized that cannot stay. So I thought, well, let's see what I can do with this. So I decided that I would try painting it. I've never done anything like that before. So I used the Waverly um, White Wax. I ended up doing, gosh, this is coat one, and then I will show you coat two. And then we're gonna get to coat three and I finally covered it good enough and then I have some really cool Arteza paint pens and I just painted on there a little thing that says tea time and I thought it was really cute and simple and it's just what I needed it to be and those pens from Arteza were purchased on Amazon by my son for my birthday present which was an awesome birthday present and I'm just kind of arranging them to see which way I think they'll look the best and I keep moving things around until it feels just right at least for the moment, until I change it again, which most of us do. I did add a lot of greenery and let's see, a little bit of eucalyptus here and there off some picks from Dollar Tree. And then I also added some lamb's ear and then some orange and um, those red flowers that went in the basket. And I'm just really happy with how it turned out. I feel like it's minimalist enough for me, but also has that charm and all the cute little pieces and everything just kind of has its own little story and it's just interesting to look at. And that's what I like is you look at it as a whole and then you look at it as individual pieces and they're each kind of unique. And I'm sure I'll come up with more ideas, things I can do to make this area more pleasing and functional. And so there's that basket, I ended up moving it up high and replacing that eat sign that I wasn't too fond of. The counter is not as cluttered and I really appreciate that. I like my counters to be as clear as possible. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you got some creative ideas from it. Let me know in the comments what you think or if you would have done anything different, I'd love to get input. I'm always looking for new ideas. Be sure to give the video a big like. That really helps my channel. And absolutely, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so that you can watch my next videos when they come out. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.